From hot spots to hidden gyms, it's your guide to all things local the LA Unscripted way. From the coolest coastline to iconic and Instagrammable boulevards, Orange County or the Inland Empire, when it comes to discovering all that Los Angeles has to offer, we could all use a little guidance. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and that's what LA Unscripted is all about. Sharing and showing what we love about our amazing hometown. So get out your phone so you can take notes about places like this first address. This is where the magic happens, <laughs> clearly. Whiskey tanks behind us, infusion tanks to the right of us, canning line to the left of us. A lot of moving parts and pieces that end up in something that makes you pleasantly surprised. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Dana, I'm inside LA's first distillery since Prohibition, but it's their non-alcoholic drinks that's got everybody buzzing. We make the world's largest collection of organic spirits. Oh my gosh. So good. This is perfection. My gosh. Green Bar began in 2004 as LA's first distillery since the Prohibition. We make vodka, we make gin, we make rum, we make whiskey, we make sweet liqueurs, we make bitter liqueurs, we make bitters, we make non-alcoholic as well as alcoholic canned cocktails. What is your favorite? That's like trying to tell, asking me to pick a favorite child, how dare you? My wife and I met in graduate journalism school and after 10 years of courting her, she finally said yes. And, and we were all being toasted, of course. But my wife-to-be really didn't like any of the liquor we were serving. So I began to make her something that she could drink at these events, involving complex infusions of fruits and herbs and flowers, anything that I thought would make her happy drinking with the family. And 19 years later, here we are. Does it taste alcoholic to you? It does, actually. Like you're having a... It some does sort of taste a... like I'm having a cocktail. I'm going to say this one is the unrum and cola. Oh, very good. Yes. There's a heart on all Green Bar products, and it's really about... <laughs> it's really about the other partner, my husband, Mel Cohn, and me. You know, it's our love for each other. It's a, the love of what we do and, and the love of Los Angeles. The secret to what makes Green Bar really tick is my wife and my relationship because we're kind of made of two minds uh, as an editor-reporter relationship. And we kind of, you know, learn from each other. We bring in the cultures, the foods of our cultures that make LA thrive into all of our products. So that's what, you know, kind of makes it fun to come to work every day, create something new and exciting and share it with the world. I love that. Cheers. Cheers. Now off script with legendary rocker Melissa Etheridge and your chance to sing along with the Grammy and Oscar winner. I've been in this business now for 40 years and, and um, I have seen songs go out in the world and find a place where the speeches or a war or uh, yelling at each other, whatever the other choices were, it goes right to the heart. Rhythm and a melody and, and something that can just be sung over and over and taken into the heart, that can change hearts and minds. And, and um, I've certainly seen that over these decades. My eyes open, I cannot afford to sleep. With that signature sultry voice strumming powerful songs, Come to my window. fans have been flocking to the rock icon's window since the 80s. It is certainly my favorite fan interaction. And that really means a lot to me that people come up and say, your music, either they say saved my life or meant a lot to me or helped me through and got me through this and got me through that. Isn't that what music is about, you know, that, that you can hopefully transform a feeling or, or uh, you know, stand beside somebody and go, it's okay, you're not alone. And Melissa Etheridge also starring in a docu-series. I'm Not Broken is a, uh, well, first it's a docu-series that's on Paramount Plus. 
and it's also a live album from a concert that I did in um, Kansas at the Topeka Women's Correctional Facility. It's Trinsery was like three blocks from my house. Johnny Cash came in the 60s. You know, it was it really made an impression upon me and that always stayed with me and I always wanted to go back and do it. Hopefully we'll change hearts and minds about how we think about crime and punishment and early childhood trauma and, and drug abuse. And remembering our very own Sam Rubin. Sam Rubin was huge for me when I came to uh, when I came to Los Angeles in the 80s. I watched him for years, every single morning I would watch that show. And the first time that I actually got to go on it was a huge, big deal for me. Sam Rubin was a big part of that. He was he was like the the lighthouse of entertainment in in um, in Los Angeles and he was short sorely be missed. Now your chance to hit a high note at Cerrito Center for the performing arts for the musicians I'm not broken tour. If it's fun or food, there's a good chance you're gonna see me there because Dee Dee never says no to a good time or a Dana Dare. Hi, I'm Alicia Maher. I'm the author of Delicious El Salvador. I'm a Salvadorian food expert. And Dana, I dare you have to make pupusas with me. I'm inhaling it, like I've got like nothing left. <laughs> it's so yummy. I accept your dare, by the way. I even call my kids my little pupusas. <laughs> like, I love them so much. And you actually sent us a DM. Can you read that? I have taught my pupusa masterclass at Surface and Los Angeles Public Libraries. I think it would be fun to teach Dana how to cook pupusas. I reached out to LAU because you guys are all what Southern California is all about. And it's all about the cultural content, celebrating food, celebrating culture, celebrating music. I learned to uh, make pupusas from my mom. My aunt had a tamal and pupusa business. Can you tell people what pupusas are? Well, pupusas, if you're familiar with tacos, so we, it's the same masa, except that it's thicker. It's like a dumpling that you flatten it up, and it can be filled with different fillings. Well, I've always cooked my whole life since I was 10 years old. And I always cooked when as soon as I moved to the United States, I started cooking for my friends and for my husband and his family. And I started wanting to write a cookbook as my kids grew older. So I set out to write and to publish the first Salvadorian cookbook in English in the world. And in 2014, I won the Gurman Award in China, which are the equivalent of the Oscars for cookbooks. We're ready to make the pupusas. So we're at Melissa's Produce Professional Kitchen. So what is step one? Step one is to make the masa. And we're going to mix it with water. <laughs> We've got two kinds of cheese here. What's this? We got fresh mozzarella and we have uh, Monterey Jack. So mine looks a little misshapen. Don't worry, Dana, because uh, pupuseras, it takes them a lifetime to learn how to make oh, really? them. And it's also it's something that they make every day. In El Salvador, pupusas are very important to the culture, right? They are. In fact, pupusas is El Salvador's national dish. And the government uh, passed that legislation in 2005, declaring the second Sunday of November, Pupusa National Day. Okay, these are the ones I made. Look, they're so cute! I mean, look, this one grew a little beard and some hair. But other than that, I think they look really good. We eat them with curtido. It's uh, pickled uh, cabbage and vinegar. Oh! And take a bite. Oh! oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so warm and like gooey and melted cheese and it's such a good combination. Can you believe that you were even able to teach me because I am legendary for not knowing how to cook. <laughs> no, I'm oh. very proud of you. you. You are one of the best students I've ever had. This show still surprises me in the best ways possible. And we still have so much more to discover when LA Unscripted returns.
Welcome back to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon, and during our half hour hangout, we love exploring all our different neighborhoods. So let's check out what's happening on the other side of town. We all know it's wedding season, and I've been in it for a minute. <laughs> you have. <laughs> in my quest to find the best wedding guest look, we decided to take a trip to Azazi. Come on. Azazi is our e-tailer. We are a wedding first e-commerce brand. We are made to order, which is amazing. And we offer zero to 30 sizing from wedding dresses to bridesmaids dresses and evening wear. It actually first started in 2013 uh, with our founder, Charles Zong. It started based in San Jose, California, and it was really just a destination where we could offer bridesmaids dresses for customers that are seeking different colors, size ranges, and just offer a destination for them. This is kind of our PR and content hub at the moment. Coming soon, it will be open to the public, which is really, really exciting. These dresses are just gorgeous, but what I love most about them is the price point. Most of our dresses start actually around $500, which is great. You can get a bridal dress for $500, made to order, custom tailored to you. We just launched the Barbie collection this past mo March, and there's been a huge appetite for pink gowns. A lot of girls are going a little untraditional at the moment, not wearing that white dress, and this is a really, really great option. It's also such a great wow moment, a great statement dress. Okay, I think me and Olivia want to try yeah. some stuff yeah. on. Let's, yeah, let's, let's try some it. stuff. Let's do it. What's great is we have a whole collection designed just for wedding guests called Atelier on our website. And this is kind of just an array of pieces. Everything retails for usually under $200, which is amazing. For destination wedding, we totally have the best array of dresses from you. Really great, comfortable silhouettes such as the Asha or the Reina dress, which are both maxi cuts, a cocktail attire. We have the perfect dress called the Amani, which is a two-toned corset and skirt. Um, and it comes in three different colorways. And then when it comes to black tie as well, we have a lot of great gowns and maxi options for you to choose from. We have shoes, we have accessories, clutches. So you can really come in, shop your complete look from head to toe and not have to go anywhere else. And if you thought that was cool, you'll love what we have coming up after the break. So refresh that drink and meet us right back here. We really are lucky to live in a city that has fantastic food on every corner, things to do every day of the week, and endless stories from locals that show why we love LA. Southeast Asia is not just like a Thai food, so I want like people to know, get to know more better about Indonesian food and yeah, learn more about Indonesian culture too. You know we love to hear from our viewers here on LA Unscripted. We got the cutest letter to come try some food in the San Fernando Valley that I have never tried before. My background is in uh, public relations. I grew up watching my grandma cooking in her kitchen, and I learned everything from her. I moved here like 12 years ago. In my mind, I want to open Indonesian restaurant because it's hard to find one. You have to see how cute these garlic yeah. chips are. I literally want to wear these garlic chips as earrings. <laughs> I kid you not, how freaking cute are these garlic chips? So you've actually been watching LA Unscripted before you even opened the restaurant. Yeah. And that was always your dream to be on LA Unscripted. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's why I really want to be in your show. So that's why I sent my email. Hello, I want to invite KTLA on LA Unscripted team to my Indonesian restaurant, Lalapan in San Fernando Valley. My restaurant is the only Indonesian restaurant in San Fernando Valley. Thank you so much. What is Lalapan? It's like a, a salad. That's the, and that's the name of the yeah. restaurant. So it's like a salad. I want like people to know Indonesian food, especially people in Los Angeles. We serve everything fresh. 
We need to make everything from the scratch, like the beef. We need like several hours until it gets tender, until all the spices soak inside. I've been dying to try this ever since she put this on the table. Okay, I'm so, oh my, it is, it is like pulling apart like paper. That is so tender. Oh, oh. Now let's zip over to another zip code to see what Olivia de Bortoli is up to. Football season just kicked off, but my backyard is not ready for entertaining, so I called System Pavers to get the party started. Outdoor living spaces, we see them as an extension of your home, right? They really are. And we take that responsibility really seriously when we design and build these. So it's important that it does reflect an extension of your home and your current vibe so that we can take that outside as well. System Pavers has been in business for over 30 years. We're a provider of high quality outdoor living remodeling for homeowners in LA that really want to elevate their outdoor living spaces. We have focused on quality, durability, and beauty for those 30 years. So we've built up a reputation of trust, which is really important for homeowners. You know, regardless if they're doing a huge project or something as simple as a putting green, it's important that they work with someone they trust. When they call us, we will provide a complimentary consultation and professional installation of things like paver driveways, walkways, patios, composite decking, pergolas, synthetic turf, fireplaces, and more. Football season is right around the corner. How can system pavers kind of upgrade your sports viewing experience? Sure. System pavers can create kind of an entertainment space outdoors that's an extension of your home. And so picture, if you will, a paver patio coordinates really well with the style and colors of your house but it has a pergola, so it protects you a little bit from the sun. It has a fireplace with a mounted TV. Now you've got an entertainment space that you can really use for those football games. And you can have all your friends come over. Absolutely. Okay, I need that. <laughs> well, I can get that for you. Yes. <laughs> Southern California is kind of the perfect place to have an outdoor that looks beautiful and to have people come to their outdoor space. It is a perfect place to expand your outdoor living space or to have an outdoor entertainment space. Really the first thing that we want homeowners to do is think about what they want to use that space for. The extent of their entertaining or how many people they might have, how frequently they'd have people come over. And once they think about what they want, then we're able to provide them with what they need in order to achieve that. It is important to have a party ready vibe in your backyard because it makes it so easy to entertain. You have enough space and the right spaces to accommodate the people that you have coming over. It makes it really easy for you as a host or hostess to have those people come over when you have everything that you need or want right in your grasp. And now let's see what Jasmine Simpkins has stumbled upon. More than 60,000 women already trust Purence. So today I decided to check in with Dr. Sarah Jensen to find out what new and natural products they have in store. Purence believes that um, most women, especially in the US, do not want to have these harsh chemicals in their products. I'm one of those women. Right, and me too. And so they've developed a line that has organic alternatives. This mm -hmm. is the cellular hydration serum. It's very moisturizing, even more moisturizing than like your hyaluronic acid. And there were studies that showed that uh, skin retained up to 66% more moisture 96 hours after this was applied. It contains organic tremella mushroom, things you can pronounce. I can tell already just putting it on my skin that it's not sticky. Check, love this. So women love to use vitamin C serums, you know, hyaluronic acid and retinol, but they can be very irritating the skin and cause redness and peeling and dryness. I'm certainly one of those women who find retinol to be kind of irritating to my skin, so I'm excited that you have an alternative. This Cellular Restore Serum actually contains Bakuchiol from the Australian Bobshi plant, which is a great alternative to retinol. Well, you can actually use this in the sun, whereas with retinol, you can get irritated by the sun with application during the day. And in their focus group, they saw a reduction in 93% of women in their wrinkles within three weeks of use. Jasmine, a good thing too is that the Cellular Restore Serum is dermatology tested and it's been proven to be non-irritating. Oh my gosh, and that means I probably need like five or six bottles of these.
The very last product we have, this is the Lift and Glow. It's an eye serum, but you can actually use it all over the face. And that actually features Cockadoo Plum. Cockadoo Plum is an antioxidant. It has 100 times more vitamin C power than a typical orange. And that can be used as a moisturizer, like I said, all over the face, the decolletage area. It can go anywhere. It's really quite moisturizing, especially in menopausal or postmenopausal skin. And would you say a little goes a long way? For all these products, yes. I just use a dab on the skin, either morning or night, and it's been very effective for me. Experience is very generous for LA Unscripted viewers because they're offering a limited time special, you can get this three product package for 63% of the normal price. If you take advantage of that, the first 100 uh, customers will get this massage roller for free, which is great when you apply the product to the skin. I like to put my tools like this in the freezer so that they're cold. That's a great idea. Okay, all right. See, I'm doctor and dermatologist approved with all of my tips and tricks. Right. I love this. Thank you for sharing some of their new products and also a great discount for our LAU viewers because of course, if they're like me, they wanna take care of their skin. Yeah, and do it at an affordable price. Okay, now your turn. Let us know where to go off script next. Email us at lauscripted at ktla.com because you never know where we'll end up next. Good night, everyone. Mwah.